Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies 3. Today, we are heading back into the Devour Tower action, at least that's the goal. Hopefully things go well. I have tried this in a previous episode and it just went so badly for me, I decided to put it off and try it again another day. So, hopefully things will go well. Before we get to it, we do have, you know, some daily stuff. We have the basic pinata, which is level three. It gives me two of them now. I don't know why, but it just does. But we actually have enough to level it up again now, as you can see, for 4,500 coins. It's very expensive, but I'm gonna upgrade that. And it's even better now. Very, very cool. Um, and that should give me more pinatas on average. And I also got some rewards for doing all that. 75 of the plant food juice. And then we also have a daily spin. So let's go ahead and give that a try. And I have been slowly working through this so that we can upgrade it again at some point. But this time we got ourselves five ex experience for the spike weed. Not too bad. So we'll worry about all the other stuff soon enough. But for right now, I'm mostly focused on the Devour Tower and trying to get to the top of this. As you can see, there's five. And at the end, for whatever reason, you face off with Zomboss. So that's pretty cool. So let's start this floor and um, see how things go. So as you can see, there are lots of uh, different zombies here. Um, nothing particularly new from what I see. You know, we have the drones again. Um, we have this guy, the rocket scientist. So we probably want to change things up so that he is dealt with. And then we have Dr. Zomboss. He's back. Dr. Edgar Z G. Zomboss has more brains than any other zombie, but he still wants more. Yours, if he's being precise. And Dr. Zomboss is always very, very precise. And there are no efficient plans against him. So I don't really know how that's going to go, but I definitely want to take a screenshot of him. There we go. <laughs> It's very interesting for sure, but we're just gonna do what we can about this um, And it says that like I have something that's good against um, Plants that jump or zombies that jump behind but I really don't So we're gonna change it to this I think um, That jumps down another 40 points though So like I do want to look to see if there's maybe some way I can improve that I, Our pine needle is now level 9, which is pretty cool And our star fruit is so close to getting to level 8 So that would certainly be helpful But maybe I mean I guess that's sort of the thing right? Maybe I could keep with this, but I have to be very vigilant with the sweet potatoes, because the sweet potatoes will grab the attention of um, some of the zombies, especially the digging zombies as well. So maybe we should do that. I could try it, upgrade taco ability. That's a little, you know, a little extra bonus. I might as well, that's expensive. So I, I might hold off on that one. Um, is there anything else that can have some good plant food boosting? I, I don't think so, because I usually, I either use the pine needle or, or the flax seed. So I just don't think it's worth the other ones. At least not for right now. I will try it, and we will hope. Uh, so yeah, we'll need some sweet potatoes up right away. We also need to focus on getting flaxseed out as soon as possible, um, mostly for any kind of zom, zombot drone. So I'm just gonna try to work on that. And what I could do then is I could do that, and this, and that, and I will definitely get rid of some of them right off the bat. And here's one of the drones coming in. I will butter you so you don't get rid of my friend. And I don't think I want double speed this time. I really don't think I do. But you can see how quickly the sweet potatoes can get taken out and why that's such a huge issue. Um, so we just need to be sort of quick on that, I think. But that's, you know, easier said than done. Really? And it just went right through that. Um, can we butter it? Yeah, we can. Okay, that's at least good. Oh my gosh, it gets tough. It gets really tough. And like already that we're struggling. And honestly, we might be struggling more than when I tried this the previous episode. I don't know what's going on with that. Why? Why, why, why? Why is this guy being so mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's like, we're not even that much lower on power than our competition. And that's where this game just gets so, so crazy. And I just, I never know how to keep up with it. I don't know if I'm just bad at the game or if it's just really poorly balanced. Hard for me to tell, to be honest with you. Anyways, I'll do that. I'm just hoping for the best here. Trying to make the most with what I got, like I said before. Luckily, we didn't get any of the uh, zombies that jump around this time. Don't know when I might end up getting that, but I'm sure it'll happen sooner or later. But even with the flax seed being level eight, it just, it feels like it struggles to keep up with a lot of stuff. It's just, it's weird. This game is bizarre. It's like the weirdest game I've played this year. There we go. So I have enough to uh, boost one more thing. Why don't I boost a sweet potato? Because like I said, I'm eventually gonna have to put that down. I mean, it might not even be this round, but it's gonna be at some point. Let's go ahead and launch this. There we go. Get rid of those guys as much as we can. Um, 
can keep this up. And I'm mostly focused on survivability. I don't need to worry about good scores or anything. Okay, so this is a bit of an issue. Can that potato mine please pop up? No, really? It can't just do me that one favor? Okay, so I will have to do this. There we go. That sort of kind of worked if it wasn't for the fact that <laughs> it doesn't affect the jetpack zombies whatsoever. Yeah, the jetpack zombies are really tough because they can't even get affected by um, anything but the flaxseed. That's the problem. There we go, we got rid of that one. Can we get rid of this one? There we go. It's like not even squashes or buttercups. I mean, I guess uh, cherry bombs can, but you know, that situation pops up quite often that I need a cherry bomb. So that's where that becomes, wow, okay, I didn't even realize. Oh, that was taco boosted, so it explodes. I forgot about that, that's really good. Okay, so let's do this again. And this isn't even the final wave, like more stuff could pop up. And this is why we also, wait, really? Okay, there we go. The, the flax scene needs to be as far to the left as possible. Note taken with that one. Um, because if not, those jetpack zombies pop up in the middle of the field. Honestly, it's so bad that I prefer the, the really imbalanced donut thing that they fixed. You know, like when the donuts would roll in and it was just ridiculous? Even that's better than this one, I, I feel, personally. Uh, and that one was insane. Okay, no you don't. No, 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 no. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, I need my flaxseed as soon as possible because that's not gonna do anything. Um, no, 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 you're kidding me. Okay, put this there. Uh, no way, you're kidding me. They take out the flaxseed in one bite, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> you are kidding. Okay, so this time I'm surviving a little bit better. I don't know if it'll be enough, but I'm trying. And that's sort of the thing that I just don't understand about this game, is that recently, I thought that like, oh, maybe I'm just not playing the game enough and I'm not training up the, the plants enough to defeat the zombies. Not the case anymore. I play the game every day and do all the daily tasks I can do, every single day, sometimes multiple times a day, depending on how it syncs up, because you know, it's not always 24 hour timers. And I'm still just barely scraping by with some of this. And I understand that maybe there's some different strategies I can try, but these are with my highest level plants and they're with plants that so are supposed to help this specific situation. I have the flaxseed, which is definitely from my experience with all the lobbing plants, the best lobbing plant. And it can barely survive against the Zompatrones and the flaxseed, uh, and the, not the flaxseed, it is the flaxseed. The, um, it can barely survive against the, the jetpacks and the Zombatrones. And that's just like, what do I do at that point? Is there, how do I possibly win if that's the case? If the plants best suited and my highest level plants that I'm training every day aren't doing anything to survive, then how do I survive? This guy's gonna get past. Um, I'm just gonna wait for him to get through that so that maybe I can get rid of him and the jetpack zombie. But then this shows up, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, it worked, thank goodness. Uh, but it just shows you, it's so, so tough, and I just simply don't know what the answer is. I know everything's a mess right here. We'll organize it once we get past all these zombies out. Um, there we go. So we'll just do that, and that should be fine enough. There we go. Okay, so let's get this organized a little bit, maybe. That would be preferable. There. Um, so I definitely want a taco boost. There's gonna be one, uh, Flaxseed that is not taco boosted though, unfortunately. Might as well boost you, it'll refill your health and it will make it so that you explode when you get eaten. And this is better. I don't know when those zombies are gonna show up that end up doing like, you know, the jumping, but hopefully not anytime soon because I'm having a hard time handling what we're handling here, you know? And it just, it's totally, totally crazy. Definitely gonna do that. That got rid of most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. I wish that with the jetpack zombies, that at least a squash could get them. That would make it so much easier, so much more handleable. Also, I didn't mean to put the flaxseed there. I mean, I guess it works. Okay, I didn't. I also didn't mean to put it there. I'm, I'm just going crazy right now because I was going into this so sure I was going to survive just fine, and I'm so surprised by the fact that my plants have leveled up a lot. But this really isn't much different than the failed attempt that I just didn't post. Um, and that's just crazy to me. Anyways, I don't want to complain about the whole episode. If I didn't, you know, it's not like I don't enjoy the game. I like the game a lot. I wouldn't play it if I didn't enjoy it. It's just a matter of, I'm just so surprised by some of the choices with how the game's made. And I just, I hope it gets improved by the time the game launches, of course. Um, anyways, let's keep it going. 
I'm going to slow down the times too because I just don't want to deal with that if I don't have to. Um, considering the fact that it's really tough. Like maybe now is the time to start doing two rows of flax seeds. It just takes so much sun to build up to that point. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna use a squash to get rid of you. Okay, and that actually does boost one of my my uh, flax seed. That's always good to see. Means I can save that taco boosting for other things. Okay, so here's our first jetpack zombie. And as soon as I can, I'm gonna deal with that. There we go. The thing is, is that if it's not a flying zombie, the flax seed does not go to getting rid of it. That's just sort of the bottom line of it. And that's why we need things like the pine needler. But how can I get that much sun and that much variety out in such a short amount of time? I can't really. Uh, so you just, you gotta find that balance for sure. And don't get me wrong, just because it needs strategy doesn't mean it's not good, you know? That's fine, you know, that's the whole thing about PvZ is a strategy game. But sometimes it feels like the only strategy is to spend gems or something. Um, that's not really much of a strategy. <laughs> you know, so that's where it gets a little upsetting. Anyways, we're gonna keep working on this. Right now, I think we're good enough that we can speed this up and just hope that not too many jetpack zombies show up if they do. I mean, I think we're actually, yeah, with this zombie, we should be done. There we go. Awesome, so stage complete. We are going to taco boost the rest of you. Maybe even taco boost that, sure, why not? Maybe I should have moved things forward though so that I had more space to deal with um, jetpack zombies if need be, but we're just gonna try this. Um, okay, so I guess these guys are showing up now. Now might be a good time then just to do some plant food. And it still didn't get rid of him. Weird, but okay, if you insist. But yeah, I think that the sweet potato does distract those kind of zombies, so it is worth it just to work on getting that stuff out now. Uh, and we'll just work on getting those out and doing what I can with that. Now might be a good time to get rid of those guys because they are not fun to deal with. Yeah, see how they came over like that? We still haven't used our cherry bomb yet, so I could maybe, but if I don't need to yet, then I don't need to. That would be good. Um, so yeah, they'll get brought over, and that is so much better than like, you know, the alternative. Okay, so far so good. So it's the final wave, definitely getting rid of you, and then I'm just throwing this out. I got rid of a good couple of them there. Just do that now. Awesome, so this run went a lot better, and I tried to be prepared for it, and I think that helped, of course. So there's level three done. Now let's move on to level four. Oh boy, but this is where it gets really tough. Really, really tough, so just wanna make sure I'm as ready for it as possible. Going to immediately get some flax seeds out, just like before. What I'm worried about now is that we're getting to the stage in the levels where they might throw a rocket scientist at us immediately. So I need to, one thing, make sure I always have at least three sun, which is a tough thing to bounce. Let's slow this down. But on top of that, just make sure we're continually building more things as well. Lab trick and the jetpack attack is already happening. I might have to do a cherry bomb here. Yeah, it's looking like it. So just try to do it there. It should be able to get rid of the other jetpack zombie. I think, I hope, if not, we're in big trouble. One more time, one more time. That's it, that's it. Thank you. Wow, that was way closer than it should have ever been. Get rid of that. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, so I just have to hope that's enough. Huge wave is approaching. Got some, some drones and everything. I do have plant food if I need it. but that should be fine. Yep, okay. Phew. I'm glad that score doesn't really matter for these levels. I'm really glad, because that does make things even more complicated than they already are. Okay, that's nice. So we should be able to work on this group. And when they're all grouped up like this is actually good because the flax seeds do have like the spreading effect. Um, so you know what? This seems like a good spot to do that because I really don't want to deal with the plunger zombies. They're not fun to deal with in any way. Uh, okay, then we need to do this right now. Nice, that got rid of exactly who I needed it to, so. That's good when that works out. It doesn't always, so. And also trying to get rid of the, um, the what's it called, the engineers, as soon as possible can be good. For obvious reasons, they're just gonna spawn in more and more stuff. Okay, lots of zombies. Maybe I should have saved that plant food because we do have more stuff moving in now. I'm trying to do what I can about it. 
Okay, that got rid of two of the engineers. They're moving some of the plants forward. I'll do what I can about it. We're almost done though, almost done. So it, it got, it, I feel like it started tough and got easier. We'll see how that goes though in this last one, which is apparently against Zomboss, but I'm out of keys, so I gotta go ahead and watch an ad to get it. But I do get 150 coins, so I'll be right back and we'll take on Zomboss. Okay, so let's see what it's like to take on Dr. Zomboss himself. We haven't done this in this game yet, so this is exciting, intimidating, all sorts of things. Oh boy, and he's just there, so this is gonna be a boss fight. Wow. All right, how should I do this? Um, now if this is like any of the other bosses, there's definitely some interesting strategies I can, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, slow things down, slow things down. I don't know what's going on right now. Let's go ahead and get that out as soon as possible. Um, maybe squash some people because this is getting a little crazy. Alrighty, oh my gosh, um, cherry bomb there. I was hoping I could save that for Zomboss, but okay, so damaging all of these does seem to be damaging Zomboss's health bar. And there's no music, so it's like super scary and intimidating. It brings me back to Plants vs. Zombies 1 when they had that one Zomboss like rematch. And it would be like totally silent like that. Um. So I do have some plant food here. I'm hoping to save it though. I don't know if there'll be multiple rounds to survive like there are with other plant food things. I'm um, not plant food thing, why are we talking about boss fight things? Um, but I could try this. And that didn't do any damage. That was a waste of plant food. No take it. <laughs> so it does not work like other boss fights. He's just getting to fly around and zap people and we can't hit him in that time. No take it. Um, so really just building up as many, so far building up as many of these guys seems to be the best bet because it can go right through. It's just sort of like an imp swarm or something like that. But I don't know if there's gonna be like a stage two. So I'm just trying to figure that out for right now. But this seems to be our best bet. So I'm keeping at it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We're going at him now. So once he starts flying like that, we cannot do damage to him, but he gets to zap our plants. That's a little unfair if you ask me. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, so in typical Zomboss fashion, he's going to, uh, Take out some of our plants like that. Okay, right here. That that didn't work, okay. I keep on trying to do the thing you can do with other boss fights. It just doesn't seem to work very well here. That's fine though, because we're still handling this. Really well, actually. We have a lot of sun too, so maybe I could just put some other things out for fun. Okay. Oh, the drones, the drones. I should have known. I should have known that they would do something like this. Okay, plant food on this guy right now. Awesome, okay, so I need some flaxseed out pronto. Oh boy, did we get him? We did it! Awesome! Well, that was stage one. So, it looks like there is indeed more than one stage. So what we need to do here is we need to do something like that. I don't know what to do with this guy, put him there. Um, because I will definitely need to do that and that. Okay, this is intense. This is really intense. Um. I will try to get some like replacements and potato mines, because why not? Uh, slow some things down. So when he's flying, can the flax seeds even get him? Oh no, jetpack zombies are coming in. Oh no, so we basically have a full health bar to work through again. But now I know better, for sure. And we had so much time to earn up sun, so at least that's not something we're juggling. Um, I do have more plant food, but I don't want to use it now because he can't even be attacked when he's up there like that. It is like a weird, oh, I didn't mean to do that, whoops. Okay, weird. Um, it is like a weird lull in the action though, when he's just standing there like that. Okay, what is he doing now? He's gonna send another one of those. Really didn't need him to get rid of the, the uh, flax seed that way. That was one of the plants I absolutely needed the most because um, you never know what might show up next. Okay, so number one goal, just get the flax seed back. We'll set up some defensive plants wherever else we can. Very weird boss. It is also weird without music. But yeah, let me know if you've gotten to 419 and been able to take on Zomboss yet. It's really cool at the least. Um, okay, so he's about to show up again, I'm sure. Yep, there he is. Uh, oh, that did a lot of damage. Did you see that? That's what I've been waiting for. Wow, okay, so the moment he hits the floor again, maybe I could do something else like that. Oh, he is as low as it gets on health right now, but ready as soon as he gets on the floor. Oh, is he gonna throw out another thing? Come on now. Come on, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Can't just stay up there forever, can ya? I mean, maybe you can. <laughs> yeah, this is a little awkward. There we go, ready, boom. 
Yes! We did it! We beat Zomboss! What is he doing? I don't know, he was just slapping around. Okay, wow, stage two clear. We get 10 stars and we got the completion bonus. Defeat the four without losing any lives to get the master reward. So I guess we did get it done pretty well. This is a mastery pinion level seven. We get some experience for the pea shooter, walnut, bong choy, kernel pulse, squash, gravitry, 400 coins. Looking pretty good, right? And that should have unlocked a new area, I think. Yeah, beep it bop. I'm almost through the firewall. I hate to break it to you, Sunflower, but Wana is not hacking. He's just wobbling back and forth. We're not exactly playing to our strengths. But this has to work. I need those solar sunglasses if we're going to save Neighborville. Oh, what's happening now? Whoa, okay, he's backing up. See you, Zomboss. Cool, so a new area has been unlocked. I'm so happy about it. All right then, floor complete. New town block unlocked. Silicorn Lab generates flasks you can use to upgrade your plant's plant food abilities. Okay, that's not too bad then. Um, so all of your pinatas have been leveled up to level seven. A new strategy is required. Using my knowledge of Dave's cognition, I have made this empanada. That empanada smells familiar. Whoa, all my smelling memories are rushing back. I remember now, Magic Bean went to the vending machine to get chimichurri sauce. Uh, all right. You mean this vending machine? I'll just punch it apart. Wait, trapped, oh, they actually upgraded these. Um, before the art was from PVZ Heroes, but it looks like they have their own art now. <laughs> Wait, trapped in this vending machine, I found inner peace. Just press A7 to secure my release. Whoa, real magic, it's the second magic bean. Getting stuck in a vending machine is not magic. It is good to see you again, my magic sister. Likewise, sister, I've been expecting you. Hooray, only one more magic bean to find. All right, well that's cool. I'm glad that we were able to get something done there. We also climbed the tower, so I can get that done. And uh, Star Farmer, so definitely we'll see if we get any more rewards with that soon. Um, but yeah, let's check out the Silicorn Lab. Generates flasks you can use to upgrade your plant's plant food abilities. So we can't upgrade this any more than it already is, but we can just get some extra flasks. Um, I'll definitely have to revisit this as often as I can. Once we get more blueprints, that'll be cool. But that is that tower done, very exciting. Um, I also wanted to see some other things, like what's available in the shop today. Uh, I can't recycle it for some reason. It's a little weird. But I have been considering buying coins with gems, because I just have so many gems at this point. It seems to be worth considering. I'm not really sure. But um, if we exit, you can see that's where the new area is. The tower is now over here. And this will be for next, not maybe not next episode, we'll have to wait and see. This is for 950, so maybe we can do it. Silicorn Lab Blueprint, so we can upgrade the Silicorn Lab and we'll also get the uh, Puff Shroom. That's really exciting. So no new plants today, unfortunately, but it has been fun pushing through everything. Um, I think that maybe we will, well, we'll see if there's anything else I can do. I, I can't quite get a star power or star tree right now. Um, all right then, so maybe that's where we actually will leave it off then. It was definitely tough, but it was a lot of fun. Stay tuned for more um, of the Devour Tower. We'll try to make our way through, checking out more plants, all that kind of cool stuff. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.